thank uh, first off uh, National uh, Florida Nonprofit Housing. Um, oh, I got these put on now. Getting a little bit older. Uh, Little Dixie and uh, Rural Community Assistance. Uh, I think this has been. Uh, I've been to several of these conferences, and I, I got to tell you, by far, I think it's probably one of the best ones I've been to to date. I really, really got a lot of information on it. It was really great meeting a lot of other supervisors who do the same thing I do. And the guys, they do the same thing that I do. They come from the same work, the same place that I have. And, uh, you know, my story is not really anything that's sad or, you know, there's no long, long winded drama. It's just a story about myself and, and my family. And, you know, kind of what Stan said yesterday, he had talked about Sam, the landscaper. Uh, his story is very similar to mine. But, uh, you know, my story actually starts with a phone call. Uh, it was a young family myself, uh, but my wife and uh, two very, very small little boys. And back in 1989, my wife and I were actually living in a in the final worker house in a trailer. Uh, it was a 12 foot by 60 foot long trailer, uh, two bedrooms. And uh, my wife actually lived in the trailer rent free because she worked for the for the farmer as a housekeeper. At the time, I was working for Sears Roebuck and, and a Sears uh, Giant Pest Control. Um, but you know, one night we're laying in bed and. Uh, let me explain a little bit first. We, the two the two bedroom trailer, we only had one window air conditioner. This is in Florida, so it was pretty warm. So we all had to share the same room. And I had my two little boys and a little bunk bed on the, on the corner here. And we're laying in bed, and you know, one thing we found out that uh, trust me, when you have two children sharing your room, that's all you can do is just talk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, too much. Money. We decided, you know, that we're starting to outgrow this little trailer and we probably need to start looking for something else. And uh, so we decided that night that it was probably a good time for us to go ahead and start looking and see what we could find in that, in, uh, in our area. And, uh, you know, Victoria right away, as soon as we said that, she right away got started on it. You know, so we're looking for, our local farmer actually owns a realty office and went, to, went and saw them and asked them for their assistance. We even were looking at, you know, back then it wasn't very often where you heard about bank repos. Uh, we were even looking at stuff like that, something like a little fixer-upper. But, you know, we come to find out that even back then, you know, things were a little bit outpriced for ourselves, you know. Uh, her salary, even though she lived rent-free, ref reflected that. She got about 40, got paid about 40% less than the other workers who worked for that farmer because we lived rent-free. Um, but, uh, you know, she had actually, at the time, had heard about this group. It was a small nonprofit group in Ruskin. And uh, she said, hey, I've heard about this place. They're, they're, they built these homes for, for people. and." And uh, you know you, you don't put any kind of money down. I'm like, man, no, that that's not doesn't exist. I mean, you know, this is back in the time when you were putting you know five ten you know five ten percent down on homes. And I, I just kind of really dismissed it. You know, as a matter of fact, I even told it, it kind of sounds like one of those government projects, you know, <laughs> low income families. We don't want that. You know, I, I really didn't think that's not what I was thinking about. But uh, you know, about three weeks later, she actually got a hold of a business card, and back then, you know, it said Homes for Hillsboro. And um, she said, look, I've got this business card. Let's call them and, you know, and, and make an appointment. Let's see what we can do. And uh, you know, she said, I said, well, OK, yeah, well, I'll think about it. Well, while you're thinking about it, they started this little phase over here on, you know, on the, down, the street, down the road from us. And swing by and take a look at it, you know, see what you think. I'm like, yeah, yeah, OK, I'll do that. I passed by that site every day. I didn't even bother to, to you know, just swing a 1,000 feet to the left just to take a look at it. You know, about three months had passed, and she was still looking, and we were actually still actively looking. And uh, you know, we actually had learned a lot about you know um, closing costs, and you got balloon interest and down payments, all that kind of stuff. And we were working on our credit, so our credit was was really good. And um, you know, about that time, three months later, I, I, I drive, I'm driving home, and um, you know, she keeps every once in a while she'd mention it to me. You know, have you, did you go by there yet? Did you go by there yet? And finally, you know, one of those afternoons, I got off a little bit early from work, and. You know, I pulled off to the side there and I kind of looked at it and they had this billboard, really nice billboard that said, you know, homes for Hillsboro, you know, uh, um, get a home in the low 80s to the 90s, you know, no down payment for some home buyers. I'm thinking to myself, wow, you know, now this, again, this is what, back in 1999, so, you know, 80s and 90s, that's, that's not a bad price, you know, and no money down, I can certainly afford that. Um, so I went back home and I we got home and the kids were home and she was they were playing on the, in, the, in the living room and she was in the kitchen and sat down and said hey honey I'm home she was hey sweetie and uh, you know it's like sat down at the table kitchen table there and I said uh, yeah I, I drove by that place you know I finally did that and and I said why don't you go ahead and see about making a phone call and see if we can go she looks at me she goes we got an appointment tomorrow four thirty one afternoon you better make sure we're there. 
okay. You know, it's funny, over the years, we really start thinking alike. But you know, she, she was cooking dinner, and she kind of stopped for a minute. She came, and she said, she gave me a hug, and she said, I'm sorry. I said, it's okay. I said, I got something else to tell you. She said, sure, what's up? She says, yeah, we're, we're going to have another baby. I'm like, guys, we say the stupidest things at the wrong time. And I'm like, how did that happen? <laughs> She has not let me forget that. <laughs> but we did. We went to the appointment and uh, we met with some people. And then they had this really small, little tiny office. I mean, it was literally like walking sideways to get in there. You should see the office now. It's, it's really amazing. But we went there and we met with this with the uh, person. Matter of fact, it was Hope. Met with her. And she's like, wow, you guys got great credit. This looks really good. And, you know, but still, I really wasn't convinced. I was very, very resistant to it. And, you know, and she's like, but, you know, and Hope was trying to explain to me, you know, Jesse, this is not what you're thinking. This is a really great program. You work with the people. Once you get to meet them, you know, and, you know, just going on the whole story about it, I'm still like, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, it's still government housing. You know, and I just didn't have that whole idea behind that. But finally, you know, she let uh, us pick a floor plan, and, and she said, well, sign here. I'm still looking at it. still resisting. I'm grabs a pin. I'm going to sign for you. So she signed, and I went ahead and signed, you know, and I learned that, that they got to follow her rules. But, you know, I'll be honest with you, that whole process was kind of a blur, you know, it was just, everything was, was so much paperwork. You guys know what you're doing, and you loan processors or, you know, people who put that together, you guys really do do a lot of stuff for that. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, I think it, for us, because we were working on our credit, it went fairly easy, we qualified, and they put us in the group right away. And then we were in a group of 14 homes. The construction process itself was very, very demanding. All of you know how that happens. It was very labor intensive. It was, it was. I think in retrospect, it was really, really, really fulfilling. Um, I really, really enjoyed working on that and working on that toward that common goal. Working with the other team members and, and the other families, it was, it was pretty awesome. But you know, in that meantime, of course, and I mentioned my wife had said that we were having another baby. And in, Jan in January 14, 2001, my wife gave birth to our baby daughter, and Melissa. Um, our daughter was five and a half inches premature, so you know I had my wife in the hospital. My daughter was in the hospital. I had two very small little boys working, and uh, you know it became very, very challenging. I have to admit to you, it was uh, there was a lot of times there when I just had really had the curse go not not wanting to go in. I had too many other things that were too important, but you know I go and go in that little neonatal incubator, you know, and see my daughter, and I'm like, you know, that's who I'm doing this. I still get a little up about it, but it's true. You know, you've got to find that strength within yourself. And re once I realized that's what it was, it was a complete turnaround. Uh, you know, we worked very, very diligently. Uh, matter of fact, being in the group of 14 homes, you know, we all had to work together as a group. At the very, very end, getting everything done, I was the last house for everything, you know. Last house for the trusses, last house was for the framing, last house for that. But at that very, very end, I was the first one that was completed. Um, uh, you know, and we actually went, we, we, on May 15th, we signed our paperwork. I mean, we were so excited, we just put stuff in trash bags. I mean, we were just packing stuff, just get out of here, come on, boom, let's go to the new house. It was, uh, it was really, really, it was really, really amazing for us, you know. And, you know, time and time again, I think about it, you know, and I think to myself, you know, would I do that again? And without hesitation, I say yes. You know, years later, we, we, we sold our home to another um, income level person, and we moved on, we actually built our own home, Built it the way we want to do it, and since that time, um, I've actually have now that working with, with the in construction. You know, we also take care of our communities. Um, I currently do serve on two boards of the homeowner association. I'm getting ready to serve on number three board of the homeowner association, and um, you know, it's it's just a uh, uh, working working with with the organization has been really really well. For a very short period of time, I was actually Earl's boss. And uh, was able to tell him what to do. But now it's not the other way around. But you know, it, it's been a, it's been a really awesome experience for all of us. You know, and I remember one time, you know, we were sitting here years later, and I'm with one of my colleagues, and it was raining so hard. And he's like, you know, man, I tell you, sometimes I just this, this job just feels like a really thankless job. And I, I actually said to him, I, I reminded my associate, you know, that we're not heroes trying to trying to save lives. You know, we're servants. We just want to change our lives. I think we really do change lives and, and people that we do. I'm a living testament to that. Um, I, I personally believe that. Um, you know, my life, my, my life path, my family's life path changed on that one phone call. 
that one phone call that I didn't even make. And, uh, you know, it was something that's been a positive experience for my family. It's been a positive experience for myself. I have grown exponentially since then. Also, a little bit here too, but well, that's a whole other. That's a whole other talk. But uh, you know, I really have to thank, personally, thank all of you guys for what you do because you know you find your strength in, in, in your homeowners and, and you hire them. And you know that that's where the strength is. There's a lot of great people here, and, I'm, and I, I feel blessed and I feel honored to be amongst my peers. And to see all of you here doing the, what you really love, because you wouldn't be here if you didn't love it. You're not looking for the, you're not looking for the recognition. You're looking for it because you love it. And I personally want to thank all of you for all the hard work you do, and thank you again, and hope to see you guys in the near future.